To GTA and today um, we're sitting here at a gas station right now because what we're doing is we're on a car we're currently on a road trip to go to a truck dealer to possibly buy a brand new wrecker for TGR recovery so I have uh, one of my workers with me today uh, if we do buy something he can drive the the um, Bronco bag Currently, there is a dealer at Polito Bay that we're currently going to. Now, they have a ton of trucks, wreckers, semis, you name it, they have it. So, we're going over there to possibly buy one. I don't know what they have, and that's why we're going on this trip. So, once when he gets done fueling, we'll be heading out. So, alright, on our way we go. So, it is a beautiful day here in Los Santos. Very bright and sunny day. Perfect day to possibly buy a brand new truck. On our way here in the Bronco. Try not to get pulled over in the process, but... Should we go and do some mild off-roading in the Bronco on our way there? I mean, we do have to cut up through the mountains, so I think it's a perfect time to possibly do a little mild off-roading in this Bronco. I have yet to take this truck off-road, so it should definitely be kind of interesting to see. So I think we're going to take a shortcut today, and I think we're actually going to do a little bit of off-roading in this truck. Let's see. Let's keep going this way. Easy, easy, easy. Oh my god. We almost lost the Bronco, but we saved it. Bronco's doing pretty good off-road right now. It's it's just it's a really fast truck. Hold on. This thing is awesome off-road, though. And back on the road we are. It's right there at that Ron gas station. We're gonna have to do this. Oh, traffic is backed up. Alright, here we are. Look at this record right here. That thing is so cool. Should we buy one? I really am thinking about it. I'm thinking about buying me a rotator. Let's take a look at this truck real quick. Like, just imagine this truck 
with TGR on the door. TGR on the door. That would be so cool. We might we might leave with one of these, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got. They got a ton of trucks here. They got a ton of trucks. Nice Peterbilt. Let's park right here. Look at the options here. And this is not even all of them. This is just what they have in stock right now. But look at this Peterbilt 388. Oh my god. Nice. This truck is so nice. Yeah, you can almost see yourself in those fuel tanks. So much chrome. Nice uh, window back there. Nice sleeper. Look at that. Nice bed back there. We might need to buy one of these once we start doing some long haul stuff with TGR, but got this beautiful Kenworth W900 with the studio sleeper. Man, look at that. Nice sunroof. Nice, nice looking truck. Uh, they got the doors unlocked. Oh, they do. Look at that. That is nice. Someone's car alarm must keep going off over there. Got a Kenworth T700. Nice looking truck, I see. Yep, there's some. Oh. I didn't mean to get in it. <laughs> nice truck. What's Excuse me. Oh. Uh, single stack. Uh. Pretty cool truck. We got another Kenworth. This one comes with the, uh with the um, toolbox on the back so you do if you did flatbed or something you got you can switch your straps and stuff in there that's cool really nice red color with the white stripes that is so nice and then we have another Peterbilt 388 over here this one's white nice but we're here for these records this is what we're here for so they have a Kenworth T770, or what is this truck? I think this is a T700. Jesus! Nice heavy-duty style of truck. This thing is nice. Yeah, this is a nice truck. And then they have that Peter Rowe. This This is another one like that one out there, but this one's for sale. With the drop axle. Uh... Big heavy rescue truck. Let's see, they got the interior. They got the door unlocked. Yes! Look at that interior, man. That thing is. Oh, it's a shifter, it's a manual. That is so cool. Got the CV already hooked up. How that bed look? Oh, not bad. That thing is nice. Let's see. Our other truck isn't a sleeper, so we could do some long haul stuff with that. Uh, I'm really thinking about this 388. Yeah, I'm thinking about this 388. I really like this truck. That camera is nice too, but I really, really need a rotator. I'm gonna go and talk to the guy and see if we can get a good deal on this truck. So I was looking at that Peterbilt 388 over there, that uh, rotator. So what we got was what's the price on that thing? So three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. That seems. Do you mind if I go and take a look at it? All right. Three hundred thousand. We definitely need this truck in the fleet. 
We definitely need one in the fleet. All right, let's go and test that boom. This thing is so cool. How high this thing can go. This thing can go high, man. Wow. That's the highest it can go right there. Alright. Let's see if we can get it to go out. Let's see what what is it for those outriggers? Let's see. Okay, there was, okay, those are the outriggers right there, so let me get the um, rotator to go out. There we go. Wow, that thing is so nice. Alright, I'm going to pop the hood too. So let's pop the hood. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. Okay, alright, alright. I got a nice engine in that thing. Big filter. Look at that filter. <laughs> that is cool. All right, look at that. Uh, look how high that thing is. Almost up there with that light pole. Nice supportive outriggers there. That thing. We could we could tow so much stuff with this truck. Look at that. Imagine fishing a truck out or something like three hundred thousand. Oh man, I think I don't know, man. You think we're ready to buy something like this for the truck? I mean, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. All right, let me put this back down and. See if we can talk up some type of deal or something. Look at this rotate though. Man. This thing. Definitely got some rotate. Get those outriggers back. All right, let's uh, let's potentially purchase this bad boy. I think I'm ready to buy it. I think I want it. All right, man. I think I'm really. I think I want that Peterbilt. Like you said, three hundred thousand. I do it. All right, we can write that out to TGR Recovery, based out of Los Santos. We're just gonna sign the title and uh, get the title and all that, and signing paperwork. And once when we get all that squared away, we be rolling up out of here with a Peterbilt 388. All right, so we just got the paperwork for the Peterbilt 388. We're just going to let's go to the bank real quick and. Uh, Let's grab some money. So we're gonna head to the bank, grab some money, come back, pay for it. Everything's signed over, and we'll be driving that baby home right there. I mean, have, I'm so excited. Oh, I hope they're open. Uh, I got a line. Alright, it's gonna be a while, guys. I'll be back. Five hours later. Alright, make sure you get my good side, man. Just got my brand new Peterbilt 388. <laughs> About ready to go. 
We are about ready to go. Make sure he's, uh... All right, I think we're ready to roll. Now getting out of here is going to be a pain. We are in our brand new Peterbilt 388 and we're heading back to the shop in our brand new rotator, baby. Here we go. <laughs> this thing is so cool. This thing sounds so good, too. We got so much planned for this truck, it's not even funny. But it's going to make us so much money at TGR. You know, we're 300000 in this truck, but I got a feeling it's going to make us some money. A lot of money. This truck only got 9,000 miles on it. Where oh, my driver? He's somewhere back there. He'll catch up eventually. Alright, so it's a little bit later today. Uh, we're going to stop over here at this rest stop to take a break real quick. We have a little bit, a little bit farther to go. All right, we're about to head out. So we made it back into Los Santos. Oh, traffic. Oh, no. All right, here we are. We made it back to the shop. Heavy 17 is sitting right there. truck to the fleet of TGR recovery and these two are going to make a great match but we have a lot of work it has the Peterbilt got to go in and get decals or decals uh, we got to get our logo on here my DOT number before we can use it but we're going to get all that squared away, and then our Kenworth, our Heavy 17, is sitting here as the, I mean, until this truck gets done, we're going to be using this, but we now have a big heavy-duty rotator. This is our third tow truck, uh, actually, this is our fourth, no, this is our fifth tow truck, actually. Uh, we got the Freightliner, we got the repo truck, we have... The heavy wrecker or the heavy 17 and then we have the rotator so and then we also have a triple a truck but that is usually for my drivers but 
But anyway, guys, this is the new truck to the fleet of TGR Recovery. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And stick around. We have a lot of stuff planned, and you don't want to miss it. Where's my driver? If you don't get in here with my Bronco before you tear it up.